guys, it's Steve here back with Ziggy's Lawn and Landscape. Thanks for tuning into this video. Uh, the purpose of this video, we're going to show you three different, I guess you'd say generations and models of walker mowers. They're actually the same model. They're all catcher models where they bag the grass. Um, but this is a 2005, this one's a 2017, and then this one's a 2022. We bought it this spring. Haven't made a ton of changes over the years with this specific model. This is the model MT, but we'll go through the differences with the years. We'll start off with the 2005. Um, I'm not the original owner on this. I bought it used, obviously. Um, this one has 2,200 hours. The 2017 has 1,600 hours. And then the new one has 351 that we put on it this year. We'll flip the hot. This is the hopper on all three. This is where all the grass goes. It comes through the collection deck, up through a chute behind the seat, and into the catcher. Um, so all three of them have catchers. They all switch. This 2005 catcher will fit on the new one, and the new one will fit on here likewise. Of course, they upgraded the decals and the motor inside for the chute and everything. But all three catchers interchange. All the mower decks will interchange. The wheels will interchange. The seats will switch over. The new one is electronic fuel injection. These two are carbureted, so these two, most of the parts will switch over. That one, you'd have to switch a lot more stuff. They all have the the opening of the seat and the hopper for access to your hydros and your engine, your battery, your blower fan, etc. We will open them all up at the same time and show you what they look like. Hopper sits on a, has two hinges in the back and then has this little gas shock spring to hold it up while you're working on it so it doesn't come down if it's filled with grass or whatever. This one's really dirty. all the same concept on this specific model. Now walker mowers, they have the side discharge, op discharge option, they have the diesel mower, they have the rear discharge, they have mulching options and they don't have a hopper. They have like a little platform dump that you can put some tools in or whatever. But as you can see, if you come over here and you just look, they all, they all do the same thing in terms of maintenance. They all flip open and have ease of access to do everything. Start here, this one has a replaced 20 and a half horsepower Kohler engine. Wait, say how many hours it has? The whole machine has 2200 and I bought this in 2012 or 2013 or so, but two years ago I put a brand new engine in it. And now this was pre-COVID and now you can't, after COVID happened, you cannot find these engines. They're just not in stock anywhere and the manufacturing is all messed up. So I got lucky, I found a brand new engine. Um, the hydros are still, I don't know if the previous owner replaced them or not, but I did the motor, the battery, I put better tires on it. The, the belts, I switched all the belts over, but that's pretty much the setup. You got this gas tank on the right side on all of them. As you can tell, at some point, I don't know what year they switched, but they switched over to putting a fuel gauge on top of the gas tank. And the gas tank um, is black in color with the fuel line. Some of them have the fuel lines on the bottom. Uh, these have it on the top, so the fuel pump will pull it um, into the motor. As you can see on all of them, Hydros for each wheel, the gear, uh, the gear transaxle is for each wheel, blower fans in the same exact spot. And then you come over to this one, this one's a 23 horsepower carbureted engine, um, original engine, 1600 hours on it. Original oil right beginning of the season from any condensation that forms over the winter while they're, sit while they're sitting. And then I'll change the oil right before fall cleanups and that tends to line up right with the 250 hour mark for changing the oil. Of course, checking the fluids and the filters every week or whatever. This one I have replaced the blower fan two to three times already because of customer neglect of leaving like a dog bone on the property or having stuff buried in leaves, dog toys or whatever. Um, and it got sucked up and destroyed the fan. So I have had this motor out. It's got a brand new starter in it from this spring. I've done the battery twice, I think. I've replaced both hydros on this machine. This one you can tell is a little bit newer. This one's already kind of dirty. This one was replaced in the spring. It's very, very expensive to replace, but for us here in North Jersey, you can't beat this machine with spring cleanups and fall cleanups. That's why we run these. Um, they're not fast. If you're looking for the fastest mower on the market, it is not these. But if you're looking to catch your grass, suck the leaves up, literally pull the leaves from the side of the mower deck in on a wet, rainy day in the fall, you can still do that. So 23 horsepower here, and then we'll come over to the new one, which I'm not sure if we made a video on yet. Um, they are dirty. We clean them up every couple weeks, but just we've been so busy 
We'd like to blow them out the backpack blowers and get all this grime out at the end of each week. We just didn't get to it this week. But this is a 27 horsepower electronic fuel injection motor. Uh, 350 hours on this so far this year. I got it brand new in February, right at the start of the season. But uh, once again, battery is the same spot. The only difference really on this one other than it being electronic fuel injection is they added a new like a service a service station i guess you would call it like a system it's oil performance system for the hydros they added a filter that you can change to get longer life out of these hydros they're air cooled with fins on all three of these to keep the, the hydros cool but they added a filter and this extra hydro hydraulics um, fluid reservoir it's pretty much it underneath here they all like we said they all fold down there's a ton of grease points that you need to keep up with or it'll get really stiff all the movements and whatnot but it folds down like so we'll fold them all down here i guess i'll do real quick i'll flip the mower decks up they changed some of the fins i think in the newer ones and they made removable sides on the side of the mower deck because that's where they like to wear out walker mower deck looks like we'll flip this one up of course this one's a little bit more loosey-goosey because it's older this is what i like the most about these it has a uh this is stuck but this this will lock into here to keep the deck up so you can service the deck and change the blades and whatnot they all sit up like that and yeah i think these are at, they're supposed to be timed but these are not it's just whatever maybe i think i did the gearboxes at one point put a used set of gearboxes on this but they all flip up hey you're good um they're just dirty this one is the backup mower we haven't really needed this at all this year since we bought the new one we finished cutting on thursday of this week and it was wet and we just didn't get to cleaning the deck ship but this is what that's a new deck with 350 hours on it as you can see the the blades are timed because one spins this way and one spins this way so the blades are not the same you have to get two separate blades for this you cannot put one on the other it just won't cut right um but pretty much looking at it they have this side piece under here which increases the suction power and keeps bigger objects out of here um and then these fins do fail over time this is your airflow for the suction in the vacuum of the mower deck and this is what I was talking about that wears out in the older ones. You've come over to here. This is the one that's five years old. You can see some of the fins are bent and there's grass stuck just from it being wet on Thursday. But these blades are good and timed. This still has this piece in, in working order. The sides are not completely worn down yet. Uh, so this deck is in pretty good shape. It's just dirty. And then you come over here. This, this one's 15, 17 years old, whatever I said. This piece is come off over time which hasn't really affected anything it just gives more of a risk to suck something big up into here they actually do all the fins on this one aren't too bad like i said this one's been sitting all year it's just ready to go in case we need it and we could show in the hopper and the back how the back system works so they they make a big hold screen for like if you're looking to recycle more grass back into the lawn and they make the small hold screen which is made for spring cleanup if you're looking to pick every single thing up then the airflow comes out of this vent here likewise and likewise on that one i just want to uh, show where the screen is yeah i don't know if there's grass in these as you can tell this one's a little bit older has a bungee cord holding the, the top flap in um this is the small hold screen for spring cleanups and fall cleanups like i said the debris will come in and only only the air will be able to escape from here and recycle back. Um, this one also has a small screen in it. A little bit more dirty. Like we said, we cut wet grass at the end of the week. We're going to get comments that we don't keep up with the maintenance on our equipment, but we do. It's just, it's been so hectic and busy around here. That's why I like to have an extra machine in case something goes down, because we can't, people online say they grease their machines every eight hours. It's just not possible. There's no time at the end of the day to grease every single machine. I like to keep up with it as we can and as we can see 15 years this one's still here works great five years later i'm the original owner of this one so i know everything that i've done to it and everything this one has the bigger hold screen just for the cutting season which will let more grass pass through so you're not filling up the hopper as quickly and it just gives more for vacuum for when the grass is thicker during the uh, growing months of the year 
flips back and forth while the blades are on to evenly disperse the grass clippings. And once it gets full, it hits this and sounds a beeper to let you know that it's full. I believe this one still works and obviously that one doesn't work because it's older, but it doesn't. You can kind of, once you get used to running these machines, you'll get used to the sound of the vacuum of the mower deck. So you'll know when it's clogged or when it's full and it's time to empty. Make the models where there's two rear wheels on each side, one on each side, or they make them like this. You could literally take that wheel and put it on that one. Vice versa, most of the parts will interchange. Oh yeah, the new one, they I guess they, they switched this tread style on this, which tires are tires. It's already wearing down on the inside and it has the correct tire pressure. So a couple things have gone wrong with this already which I'm not too happy about, but it's just little stupid wear items like the throttle cable broke twice already. Bracket holding the muffler on the bolts vibrated loose. I guess they weren't tightened all the way from the factory. I mean, other than that, this has just been, it's brand new, so it really shouldn't have stuff breaking. So those two little things is no big deal. But 350 hours are pretty much trouble free. Just grease it up. I've changed the oil twice in this. You wanna just yeah. talk about gearboxes real quick? Yeah, I guess like we said, the gearboxes, they, one's counterclockwise, one is clockwise. Got to see it better um, on this one. So the 2022 mower deck will hook up in about five minutes onto the 2005 mower. So if you're running an older mower and you need a new mower deck and you find one, you can buy a brand new whole setup and it'll switch right over. Unless they make the, the square drive shaft and the spline drive shaft, but this is the updated, where all the splined star keyed uh, drive shaft. If you're cutting tons and tons of acres of grass, this is not the machine you're looking for. Yes, you can put a side discharge mower uh, deck on it. The non-hopper, I've never used them. I've seen them around and I've heard reviews that they're not built the best, they're not the thickest metal and whatnot, but if you're looking, you need a standard zero turn, stand on mower, sit down zero turn. If you're doing big fields and big areas, unless you have time to waste, then you can use this for five acres of grass, but it cuts beautifully regardless of what you use it on, but we love it, like I said. You can kick the leaves out in the fall with your backpack blower out of the garden bed and run around and pick all the leaves up. It could be 30 mile an hour winds and you could still be working doing the leaves with this. But it's primarily a bagging unit, this model is. We have the dethatcher attachment for all three of these that snaps in quick hooks underneath the lip of the mower deck. You can take it off and that works perfect for the spring. And then you saw the bed edger attachment that I have I put on the middle one, the uh, yeah. five year old one for spring cleanups. The edge in the beds and whatnot. I want to point something out too. There's a lot of different attachments. Um, if you want to consider the lights, the attachments, you can get lights for this machine. Yeah, I mean, you can see these lights here. I think they both work. Nope. No, one of them's out. Uh, out when... If you could see in the distance down there, that's a snowblower down the hill. The dethatcher is actually somewhere down there too. But they make, they even make plows for it. There's a little dump bucket which. There, there's a million attachments for these things. They're a versatile machine, but primarily it's a grass machine. That's what it was built for. I just want to point out something too that we've found through the different generations.